Over the last two and a half years, we have been testing the chef skills of our normal home cooks through a series of cooking challenges. Knife skills, teamwork, improvisation, organisation. But this is the final epic challenge where one of our normals will be crowned sorted sous chef. They'll each be cooking a starter, main course and dessert for a panel of all-star pro chef judges using the skills they've learned to take the win. Don't know what they want from us. I think this is very clever. I'm unsure about this. After starters and main course, it's all still to play for. Today, we finish up with dessert. Boys, it's the final straight dessert. <laughs> We're nearly yeah. there. We're nearly yeah. there. This is the bit we're worst at. Like, this, I we're know. finishing on a low. Um, Are we ready? I think I'm continuing on a low. I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know how I'm doing. Four words. Don't. Up. It. Up. Go. Let's do this. So for my dessert, I'm making Yorkshire pudding, coconut ice cream, and a miso caramel. It's a merging of flavors from an area of the world that I love with the place that I live. Starts with a cheats ice cream. So I've got coconut condensed milk going into my ice cream churner, bit of double cream for additional fat. I'm gonna set that going and adjust it for flavor throughout. For my dessert, I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm going after the potato queen, Poppy, and Chef Franck with something French. So I'm going for Pomme au Dauphine, avec creme anglaise au orange. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> you are. On plat au chocolat. What has Not happened now, to you? Jamie. What has happened to you? I'm making a potato pudding <laughs> that's French. It starts by making a shoe paste. What have I done? Yorkshire pudding batter. So eggs, plain flour, whisking it up until it's smooth. Now adding a little bit of milk in at a time, seasoned with salt, we have a batter. Today I've decided to make my favorite dessert of all time. And I know it's loved throughout the world, and there's nowhere to hide. Are you doing a sticky toffee pudding? Tiramisu. Second favorite, right. <laughs> as traditionally as possible. Traditionally. For the first time ever, I'm gonna try and do this traditionally. You're mad. I know. You're you mad, you say it. Lady fingers, I've made from scratch. Egg whites, egg yolks, sugar, and that's pretty much it with a squeeze of lemon. Mix it so you've got as much air as possible, and then normally you'd basically pipe them out into fingers. I'm gonna go for a sheet of it, and then I'll cut them out later on. I think I've made a shoe paste. It's now time to add mashed potato, and this is where I'm cheating. I'm using pre-made mashed potato because ain't nobody got time to make mashed potato to add into it. What's happened? Are you when okay? you grate nutmeg into a moving mixer, it doesn't go into the mixing bowl. It what? goes everywhere else. <laughs> I think my pomme dauphine mix is done. I'm gonna test it in some oil before I pipe it. Uh, and if I need to add any smash in to thicken it up, I can do that. That's great. In the meantime, I'm gonna make my um, creme anglaise au orange, uh, which is going to be bird's custard um, and Fanta. So it's, it, that's just gonna be an orange custard. And then I'm gonna reduce some Fanta down into a syrup to add that in for some more orangey flavor. The bit that makes a tiramisu a tiramisu is the coffee bit. So I've got about four shots of espresso. No, two, four, six, eight shots of espresso here. Uh, and then I'm gonna put in here with some masala. Just about taste, maybe a little bit of sugar. And then I'll be dipping my lady fist into this. My biggest frustration with some tiramisus is they're not, they need a real kick. You've got so much cream, so much lightness in them. You want something that's gonna smack me in the face with coffee and alcohol. So I'm adding Kahlua. It's now less traditional, but more tasty. Woo! I didn't say that out loud, did I? So miso caramel sauce means I have to make caramel, which is always uh, fun. But I'm hoping that the miso adds that sort of funky but saltiness to almost come up with a really interesting salted caramel. So I've got caster sugar, 
in a stainless steel pan. Something I've learned over this journey, don't use non-stick, don't use a dark color, because then you can't see the color of the caramel, and that is critical here. I want to melt it, and then it's got to turn a dark orange without going too far and then burning, because I want that bitterness, but I do not want burniness. You might want to rejoin me in 30 seconds once I've blown on this. And we're back. It tastes delicious. I don't want them to think that I burnt it, which is why it tastes bitter. Let's just use some of this. I'm gonna make it and I can adjust it. So we've done a lot with miso over the last two and a bit years. And it is just such a great flavor when combined with fatty stuff. How's it going, boys? It's going, we're going. I mean, my caramel's gone. In, in, in a good way? It's bitter. Now I've just got to make it taste of other things. Is anyone having an enjoyable time? I'm reducing Fanta. Wow. Can British Fanta be reduced any further than it is? We're about to find out. I don't mean technically, I mean in reputation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Take that off the heat and then we'll add in our reduced Fanta once it reduces. In the meantime, let's test our Pomme Dauphine. Ooh. Feel like the batter is good. <laughs> so this batter now has rested, which we know gives amazing flavor. Ladling it into the preheated and very hot oil and straight back in. Just gonna strain this off because that miso is so delicious and high quality, it has little bits in it, which are tasty, but they're not really conducive to a smooth, velvety caramel. And now to separate more eggs, because I'm making my tiramisu cream. For my tiramisu cream, eggs, sugar, whip them up, and then over bay marie to try and get rid of the sugary texture, so it's nice and smooth. Come away, come away. I'm gonna cool these down in the fridge, then roll them out to the nice circles, and then we'll fry them. I think I'm gonna to have to re-attempt. Are you kidding? I've made a cross between a cloud egg and a baked Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> now, mascarpone cheese, one of the main ingredients in a tiramisu. At home, I'd say any mascarpone would do, but as we're competing here, and we're trying to impress chefs, we've bought the best we can. I've never used mascarpone this posh. Though my coffee syrup is delicious, it's not coffee enough. So I'm going to add some more instant to it. So give it a real So my rationale behind making a tiramisu, which you're not allowed to screw up, is that a lot of time when I make dishes for, sh for chefs, I don't know what they're looking for. I don't know what tastes good. But I'm pretty sure I've had enough tiramisu in my life to know what tastes good. So if I'm happy with this, I really hope they will be too. <sighs> Doing well? I'm, I'm all right, I'm nearly there. Yeah? Yeah. You? Yeah, I'm all right. Mike? I, I don't know what I am. <laughs> I don't know what I've made. Look, everything else has gone well. There is no reason to believe this won't follow the same trajectory. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Great. What are you? Oh, it's a bit squarey, but hey, I might have, yes! Still very warm. Pom Dauphine batter, done. Custard, near enough, done. Time to clear down uh, and then start my chocolate plate uh, and then fry. <laughs> I think we're done. As we've always learned, less is more when it comes to plating. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> okay, good, you go. Baby's painting a plate in chocolate and I don't want you to miss out on it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's decoration, isn't it, more than anything else? It's decoration. Like, you, you, you decorate something to make it look better than it was. I've decorated a bowl better than that. A toilet bowl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh, you made it wiggle! <laughs> I think I'm quite happy with that. So it's tasty, 
I'm going to dry it out a little bit further and put it back on the oven with some Dario moulds, just making sure that that top remains curved. Two and a half cans of Fanta reduced to this. That's going to be so orangey. Whoa! Let's get that into the custard. Get that into the custard. Gonna get our orange custard into a piping bag, into the fridge to cool down. So I'm sticking with what I've got for food waste and all of those reasons. And also, it looks really cool, so maybe I can make it work. So I've lowered the temperature of the oven down to like 120 and I'm just drying them out now so that they maintain their dome shape. It's go time. I've got my pom dauphine buns. I need to now roll them with a slightly oiled hand. I'll pop them into the oil to fry them. They'll come out into cinnamon sugar, cool down on some paper, and then I'm gonna fill them with my orange custard thing, which isn't actually really much of a custard. It's more of a Fanta Velute, is what we've decided. <laughs> Service, please. So whilst the boys have been challenging themselves over the past few years, you can now do the same. In a big new update, you can now increase your cooking skills with our Sidekick app, where we've designed a number of carefully curated challenges targeted to teach you how to think and cook more like a chef. The more you complete, the better cook you will become. There's loads to choose from, but a great place to start is the beginner's challenge. And right now, you can get our biggest ever Sidekick discount at 50% for the whole year. Check out the link below. A dessert is not like they used to be. You know, they used to be very sweet and very creamy and very heavy. But now, they completely change. Something not, which is not too heavy because it's at the end of the meal. You don't want, so do want to feel too full. Fair. Portion control once again. I'm all about portion control. I like it's not, not too big. So it's better to have a, a small and nice. Fair enough. Here we go. I might be off. I <laughs> might challenge you on that, because I I've got a massive sweet tooth and I love a pud. I like the sugar. I like cream, even yeah, I love I love a bit of fruit. You got Give it all to me. You got a second stomach as well for the dessert. Like you know when you're like oh, I can't eat anymore. And everyone's like, <laughs> Yeah, and then a dessert and I'm like, yes, absolutely <laughs> I can have a dessert. Talk to me. Yeah, so, Give me some ice yeah. cream. Exactly. Bring me a tiramisu. Give I'm me a slice of cake. All of it. Here we go, here's something. With though. Yummy soup. Yes! <laughs> Hello, distinct whoop. Hello, Oops. <laughs> distinguished chefs. <laughs> I have your pudding for you. Wow. That one's there. Don't worry about that one. No, it's there. <laughs> Please find in front of you for our distinguished French chef and our distinguished potato lover, Pom Dauphine. Oh, you cheeky bugger. Pom Dauphine. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> Avec velouté <gasps> du orange. Oh, très bien, monsieur. En plat du chocolat. Oh, in assiette. Uh, oui, oui. Chocolate plates. I'll translate. <laughs> <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Dauphine potatoes with soup, orange soup, <laughs> and chocolate with reduced Fanta syrup. <laughs> I've got to say, they're better dauphine than I make. Mm. I might have to steal your recipe. They're really good. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. It's like an elevated Jaffa cake. Can I go, oh, it's a bit hard. It's, uh, it's stuck on the plate, actually. <clears throat> Are we not meant to ah, I chocolate? see, the chocolate is paint on the plate. That's what I, so, one thing is, if mm. you're going to say the chocolate, even if it's on a plate, I do want to eat it. I want to you, eat you need to put it, yet. yeah. Mm. Fun, interesting, yeah. would get people talking if you were serving it to people, which I love. Yep. Yeah. Dauphine themselves are really light. 
so you can get very heavy ones. Um, but the orange comes through really nice. Well, I really liked it myself, you know. I, yeah. thought, I thought it was a shame the chocolate wasn't there because uh, I do like chocolate, you know, and it's nice chocolate on it. No, the concept is very nice. And you know what, it's not too sweet and, even it's, nice. and it's refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like the lightness of the Dauphine. I think that's really, really impressive to be able to do. Um, I do have a little bit of a funny thing with the actual texture of the jelly inside, but maybe that just is a temperature sort of thing. But nice presentation as well. Very good, very, very nice, nice presentation. presentation. And thank you for serving three. Yeah. Bonjour, no? Yeah. Oh, Here we bonjour, have. mon grand garçon. A classic tiramisu. Yeah! With homemade lady fist cakes. Yeah. Huh? And a mascarpone cream. <laughs> well, I like the sound huh? of your lady fists, Baza. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've never had a lady's fist in my mouth before, but I'm ready for it. Do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Tiramisu was my favourite dessert growing up. Look at the layers on that. The layers are beautiful. That's genuinely. Is it, is it good? Very good. Very coffee heavy. Yeah, but it's so squidgy. It's moist. The cream is lovely. The piping as well. Mm-hmm. Piping's beautiful. The piping's really good. This is spot on. Lovely. No, it's really good. You know what? I've got absolutely nothing to say about this. It's beautiful. I really love it. The texture of the cake is great, but then it's like loaded with coffee, Kahlua, all the goodness. The cream and the mascarpone is just like brings everything together with a bit of bitterness from the cocoa. Oh, it's just what you want. I was hoping for a tiramisu. Chefs, this is Ooh, la, la. a Yorkshire pudding Stop. with miso caramel. Oh, miso uh, caramel. And a coconut ice cream, but you have to dig for it. Oh. It's like a Yorkshire baked Alaska. Yeah, it's many things. It's like a bitter <laughs> roll, it's like... It's what, what it wasn't planned this way. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> very, very cute. I like that. Can I ask, did you make the ice cream yourself? Yes. It's absolutely delicious. The ice cream's really good. I thought you'd bought it. And me. And me. Okay, okay, that changes a lot. It's great. It's smooth. The Yorkshire pudding's really good. It's a lovely Yorkshire pudding batter because of how, how much elevation that's got on there. And it's a super crispy. It looks dark, but it's not overcooked. It's not like getting a bitterness. You get this lovely miso caramel, which is very savoury in some ways because yeah. of the, the saltiness that comes through. Again and again, so good. Um, the presentation's great. I, I love the miso caramel. The, the salty umami that's coming through is just delicious. I love the idea, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think the idea yeah. is brilliant. But me, for my personal taste, uh, it's a bit too sweet. I can't help it, that's the, way, that's the way I am. The ice cream is lovely as well. It's a very, very well and tasty. <laughs> the texture is not my cup of tea. I'm afraid. The texture is not my cup of tea. It's more like a pomade. It's more like a gelato. I like an ice cream, which is a bit more uh, all together. Lads, scores are in. It's been delicious. Thank you very much. We've been treated uh, very well today, Thank you. I believe. Thank you for, for judging uh, us. Just a reminder, you are in competition for the beautiful sorted sous chef apron. I really want it. <laughs> I, like I really want it. And you're also gunning for this beautiful uh, spoon trophy, which does look mildly phallic. <laughs> <laughs> right. My heart's pounding, I don't know about you. <laughs> this is so silly. Yeah. Why do I care? <laughs> In third place, with a very strong score out of 90, is Jamie with 63.6. Bravo, très bien. Well done. I was not expecting to be no. in this. Coming in second place with a score of 67.8 is Mike. Meaning the winner. Oh, oh, Barry. Thank you. He's going to be hey. bearable. He's going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah, I am. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, you had a score of 72.3. I think you should put it on to see oh, what it looks like. Oh, don't worry. It's Here he is. It's, it's never coming off. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well done, guys. Thank you so much.
thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Um, no, thank you. For as you've me. probably determined, this does actually, this has actually meant a lot to us. To be able to culminate that two and a half year journey into this has been amazing. So thank you so much for coming down. Last and thank you for your constructive feedback. It's thank you. Been taken on board, and What's he's going to be unbearable. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved, by the way. Well deserved. Thank you very much. Well done, Barry. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well, there you have it. Barry has taken the win. Do you agree? Comment down below. And be sure to challenge yourself using our Psychic app, which now has 50% off for the entire year. And now a massive thank you to our panel of pro judges. You can get all of their links and details in the links down below.